Hi, my name is Shan Shang Wang from Temple University, Finland. I'm very happy to share my recent work, Self-Supervised Learning with Angular Contrast Flows. This work has been done together with Somia Tripathi and Anna Maria Masaros. I will open my presentation from the following aspects, motivation, proposed method, experiments, and conclusion. Let's first start with how I started idea. In the image classification problem, convolutional networks are normally used to extract features, and then a classification layer is added in the end. Cross entropy loss is applied between the estimated class and the ground truth. However, researchers have explored many other auxiliary losses, such as angular margin loss, defined below. This loss tells that if image, images from the same class, then the angular distance of those features should also be minimized. If images from different classes, features of those should at least have an angular distance margin, mg. From the feature distribution figures, on the right side, we can see that with AMC loss, intra-class features are more compact and inter-class features are more separable from each other. In self-supervised learning, the contrastive loss is used to learn robust features. This loss is implemented also based on soft max loss, which fails to add clear angular margin between classes. So we decided to explore how to incorporate angular margin loss in the self-supervised learning procedure. And now I will introduce our proposed method. So inspired by what I have introduced earlier, we apply the idea to the audio feature learning scheme in the self-supervised learning way. Given an audio spectrogram, two patches are cropped and mixed back with other patches from different audio data. Then data augmentation technique is applied. Network F is used to extract features and projection head G will project the features into a lower dimension, ZI, ZJ. And the contrastive loss is calculated on ZI and ZJ. On top of this contrastive loss, we have also empirically found out that adding angular margin loss on HI and HJ is beneficial to the features. The final loss is the weighted sum of these two losses. We validate our idea by designing multiple experiments on FSD noisy 18K dataset. For the supervised baseline, we find test accuracy is 70.1%. With ACL, we achieve 736 For the self-supervised baseline, we find the test accuracy is 74.2. With ACL, we can achieve 77.1. We also try to analyze the learned features from uniformity and tolerance point of view. Uniformity U refers feature embeddings should be uniformly distributed on the unit hypersphere. Tolerance T refers features of semantically similar, similar items should be close to each other. This uniformity and tolerance are dependent on the temperatures. So we plot them with respect to temperature tau for our ACL. From the rightmost figure, we can see that irrespective to the temperature values one may choose, ACL always achieves the best compared to the normal contrastive loss. From the first two figures, we can see the slight increase in the feature tolerance value seems to be more beneficial for the accuracy. This increased tolerance signifies the presence of distinct class clusters in the feature domain. Finally, we come to the conclusion part. First, we propose angular contrastive loss to improve the feature quality in the self-supervised learning training setup. Second, we validate the ACL brings 3.5% advantage in supervised learning setup and 2.9% increase in the self-supervised learning scheme. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.